Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. Welcome to the next video in this series of making a DIY art journal. We've got our cover well underway. We've got this first spread that's really beautiful. And then we have our subsequent pages that we've done some scribbling. We've got some paint on the edges. You can use whatever paints are in your palette that you've chosen. Now, just being brutally honest, I want to do a video for every spread. And since I have 10 folded pages, that's really going to end up being a lot. And I, I don't want to make 20 videos before I release this. I would like to keep this more like 10 or 11 videos. And I was thinking about that this morning. You know, necessity is the mother of invention. That's really, really true. And it caused me to just look at this and say, okay, how can I bring this down to just 10 spreads without having blank pages? I started thinking about tearing pages. I started thinking about gluing pages together to make fun pockets. So that's the first thing that I am going to do today. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how I'm going to do this, and I'm not going to stretch this out and make you watch every single thing that I do to every page, but I'm going to give you an idea of how this is going to work. I have somewhat of a straight edge here. Somebody turned this into a little shelf. I, I think I paid about a dollar for this, uh, but I can't find my other ruler. I actually think it's at, at my desk inside the house. But we're gonna use this to do a few things. Probably the most prudent thing would be to go through first and look at the sizes of the pages. To me, this page would be a really good one because it's shorter than this bigger page. To tear a little bit out, make like a semicircle here and then run a strip of glue down each side and just lay that down flat. So that instantly cuts down on the number of spreads. I'm going to put some paper clips on this so it stays in place and these are some rusty paper clips. Hopefully they will make some marks on the pages that are really cool. But this is going to give us a couple of things. This is going to give us a pocket. It's going to give us a textured page. It's going to lend some bulk to this little journal, but it's going to cut down on the number of spreads we have to do. Uh, another thing that I thought about was tearing pages down to make some texture and to cut down on the number of spreads. So I'm going to tear this little part out of the bottom so that the page we're gluing down is not taller than this page that's going to be showing. I'm going to tear a little bit off the top. And I'm going to go ahead and tear this strip so that we can glue this little piece down. And that's going to dry. We're also going to save all these little pieces of paper that we're tearing out and that we've cut out. And we have the paper behind us that's getting all grungy and covered with paint that's going to be incorporated right back into this journal. We've got our first spread. So this is going to make a second one. This makes a third one. You know, even though this little, I love this curly cue. So let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear off this corner. I'm going to pull my paper clips right back off and I'm going to glue this pink page because I definitely want a pink page to work in. I don't want to tear this one out completely. Let's put a good amount of glue and carry it out to the edges so that there's not going to be any standing up. I don't know why I don't use my little glue thing. Okay, so let's fold this right back over here. And this, this is giving us a whole lot of texture and that, look, the paper clip is leaving some really cool marks. Let's put that one back here and this one right back here. Where are we? Okay, so that cuts down even more. We have a pocket here. We've got this beautiful pink paper here. And I think I'm just gonna come right back and maybe glue this corner over here 
or maybe it needs to be up here. I like that better. I don't want to lose that curly cue that, or that little spiral. So why don't we just put some glue on this little corner? I think that gives you the idea of what I'm doing. Uh, the goal is to have fewer spreads, textured pages, and to end up with pieces that we can work with on subsequent journal spreads. So I'm gonna stop the camera and go ahead and complete my process and I will be back with what we're gonna do on today's journal page. Okay, I love the results of this. I went through and glued pages together, tore pages down, and I have ended up with really about 10 nine, 10 spreads, something like that. I ended up tearing this page out completely. Well, obviously not this one, but the one that was inside and I tore out a couple of rectangles to glue onto that. Um, there are places where I glued as many as three pages together. So it's, it's left our journal with not as many spreads, but with um, the same bulk. So I like that. Um, the binding still feels sturdy. And now we're gonna go on to the next page. You know how I love to go back and add layers of color. I had my black ink stamp out or ink pad just going around the edges of the frame here. Uh, I kind of wanted to make it stand out with just that color around the edge and a little bit more interest and we can just keep going back over and over and over again and adding things. Didn't mean to get ink on that brad, but that's okay. It's funny how ink spreads on some types of paper and then on others, it really doesn't. So let's get back inside. We're gonna leave that for now. Okay, on this spread, I have another idea for what I wanna do. And we're gonna lay our little journal up here and we're gonna go to some of these pieces of paper that we've torn out or that we've been working on that have this really nice color. I think I'm gonna start with a pencil and I wanna make some very simple flower shapes that are easy to cut out. And I'm doing these with pencil, probably gonna go back over the uh, outline with a pen. Let's get some that have some of the paint marks. Let's get into the paper that has some of the paint marks on it. Doing some of these a little big so that we can take up plenty of space and I think I think this is enough for now. My color palette again is pink, black, and gold. And what I'm going to do is pull out some watercolor. You can use any kind of media for this. You can use acrylic paint, you can use alcohol ink, you can use uh, watercolor, you can use watercolor crayons, watercolor pencils. I've almost depleted the pink in that. So I'm gonna put that away. And um, I'm gonna pull out some of the pinks in my watercolor crayons. Or uh, like these are the Neo Color 2s that Jennifer sent to me. I had a few of these and then she sent me a whole set. Um, the Neo Color 2s uh, by Karen Dash. These are amazing. I definitely want to stick with my color palette. I think this is enough. We've got three different colors of the pink and I'm just going to start adding some color to these flowers. We're going to come back with a wet paintbrush to spread these colors around. Well, that's almost getting into red instead of pink, but we'll just, that's okay. And you see, I'm just making some scribbles with the color. Um, let's see what happens when we, sometimes uh, watercolor crayons and pencils, they, they leave marks. Like you, here, see how you can still see where the marks were, I think. Hopefully your paper will allow you to just keep adding water to make, make those marks not quite so harsh. But you could also just go with that if that's what you like. It's kind of interesting to leave some of that. I'm gonna dry these. Okay, these are pretty dry at this point. 
and I'm going to go ahead and just cut these out. I'm going to cut just quickly around the outer perimeter and it's going to be okay if we leave some of these pencil marks. I like all of the layers and we're going to use our pen to go around these again. So we're going to have a lot of fun little marks and paint, paint splotches. And we can go back and trim these up a little more if we need to. I was just a little bit too sloppy on that one. Oh, I cut all of these little flowers out and I think they're so cute. Uh, you can see how the edge is still a little bit messy. Uh, it almost looks like it could have been done by someone in elementary school. And well, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. A lot of fun, very easy. I've been trying to decide which one of these images I wanna use on this second full spread in the journal. We're gonna be gluing these flowers onto the page um, and we're gonna add the word bloom. And that uh, is a word that's on the sheet that you can print out for this project or you could choose to stamp that or write it however you wanna do it. I really, really like this picture with this black background here. Ooh, I like that too, with that gold paint there. We could add a couple more pieces behind her, um, and then we could start adding the flowers that we've created. We might change them up a tiny bit. We just want something really dimensional with a lot of, and look at the scribbles, how they add to so let's sit, I realize that sometimes I trail off and don't finish sentences. I love the scribbles is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and glue these layers down. I think that was about right there. And that one was down a little bit. Go ahead and put a spot of glue there so we know where the top of that's gonna be. And then let's glue her into place. And again, you can feel free to use one of these photographs from the collage sheet, or you can use something that you have. It can be from a magazine. It can be a personal photograph from the holidays that you've printed out. Uh, there are so many things that you can do with an art journal like this. You could also cut, fussy cut, you know, so that you have not this whole thing, but I really like this, the writing there on the actual negative or the, the picture, the proof or whatever it is. So I'm gonna go with leaving that just like it is. And then I'm gonna add the flowers on here. We had this one here. Let's put this one up here. And then we want the word bloom, or you could change that if there's something that you feel is better suited to your journal spread. And I am just wondering if there is enough ink in this thing here to do what we need to do. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's got more. Oh, I really like that a lot. So here you are at a place again where uh, a lot of options start to, to creep in. You could add little rhinestone stickers in the middle of all of these flowers, or maybe one or two flowers. Jason and I bought a package of these when we were at Hobby Lobby, and we're hardly ever at Hobby Lobby. We just passed by one not too long ago, and I said, oh, this is where Hobby Lobby is, and he pulled in and took me in there, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a couple of these stickers, 
if I can get this to stay. So let's put one, oops, <laughs> two came off, okay. So maybe I'll use three. And then for the other two, I think I'm gonna put little tiny dots of gold paint. Look at that. Oh, goodness. So now we have gold paint that we're gonna have to use up. So I'm gonna put gold paint in the center of these. This is gold acrylic paint. We'll kind of use up what we have. I think I'll put some at the bottom of this page where it overlaps with the next page just to define that a little bit. I might go ahead and add some more at the top and bottom of this page. I'm not going to close this because I know I tend to mess things up like that. But I have been thinking about this little house sticking up. And I'm going to come back and put a little bit of gold paint on that corner. I don't know if you can see that. I actually probably got too much on there. And now we're ending up with this gold paint. Let's put some on this page. This is a fun little piece of paper. Maybe we can end up with some on that. I did mention coming back with this pen so we can kind of go around the edge of these if we want to. You can use any kind of pen or pencil you want to and you don't even have to do this part. I'm just add some, some little marks around the center there. As far as adding more color to this page, since black is in the palette, you know, we could add a circle if we want to. Uh, do I want to do that? I don't want to just necessarily repeat the same things over and over again, but I love this already. I like that circle that kind of covers both pages. And let's just, you know, not waste any of this. In fact, I'm going to bring a sheet of paper over here that's been used in previous projects and just uh, set that right back here. We'll just use everything. Uh, there's another technique that I really like. Um, let's just go back and put some more black paint out again. And for this, it's good to have something like a credit card or an old business card. You're going to get paint all over the edge. And we're just going to make some really fun stems for these plants. I don't want anything necessarily to come down over her or this next flower. So I'm going to use the shorter side for that one. I'm, I don't know if I want to make that darker. It didn't really put as much on there as I want. Yeah, that's better. I love this so much. And then let's come back one more time with this long one and do that. This is what we have for this page. This is the second full spread. I hope you got some ideas from here that will help you in your art journaling. This did not take very long. It was a lot of fun. We will probably come back to every page and continue to layer as we work through subsequent pages. And then by the time this is done, this is gonna be such a layered, interesting, tactile little art journal. I think you're gonna love your journal. I'll be back really soon with the next video. Bye for now.